हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द इशू दैट इफ द असेसिंग ऑफिसर इशूज नोटिस अंडर सेक्शन 156 फिफ्टी सिक्स दैट इज ए डिमांड नोटिस एंड द पेनल्टी नोटिस अंडर सेक्शन टू सेवेंटी वन सब सेक्शन वन क्लॉज सी एलोंग विद द ड्राफ्ट असेसमेंट ऑर्डर देन वेदर after issuing notice under section 156 that is the demand notice and penalty notice with the draft assessment order the assessing officer has the power to issue the final assessment order or in other words if the draft assessment order is issued with the penalty notice under section 156 then whether it should be treated as a final assessment order this issue came before the telangana high court in the case of principal commissioner of income tax versus hyundai motor india engineering private limited and this case has been reported in 462 itr at page number 75 and the date of the judgment is 11th september 2023 the case relates to the assessment year 1516 section 144 c talks about reference to the dispute resolution panel in the present case the draft assessment order under section 144 c was sent to the assessee along with the notice of demand under section 156 and penalty notice under section 271 sub section 1 clause c first of all the inference which can be taken from this type of chronological sequence that when the assessing officer issues the demand notice with the draft assessment order and the penalty notice with the draft assessment order then it is a conclusive proof that the assessing officer has made his mind for making the additions at the time of the draft assessment order whatever the submissions of the assessee will come in response to the draft assessment order it can be safely assumed that the assessing officer has made up his mind and he will not be affected by any of the submissions of the assessee which itself is against the principles of natural justice and that shows the high handedness on the part of the officers who are passing this assessment orders when draft assessment order was passed with demand notice and with penalty notice the assessee did not reply to this draft assessment order so the assessing officer passed the final assessment order the assessee objected the final assessment order before the cit appeal and the cit appeal rejected the plea of the assessee the assessee was pleading that the final assessment order is bad in law because already the assessment order has been passed by the assessing officer but the cit appeal rejected the plea of the assessee so when this matter came before the tribunal the tribunal said that demand notice and penalty notice are accompanied with the draft assessment order then this thing itself is conclusive that that was not the draft assessment order and that was the final assessment order the tribunal also said that section 144c sub section 8 says that the demand notice under section 156 can be raised only with the final assessment order is passed since dispute resolution panel has the power to confirm to reduce or enhance the variation proposed within the draft assessment order so friends in the present case whatever the draft assessment order was sent was to be treated as final assessment order and after that if any order is passed then that order does not have any value in the eyes of the law when the tribunal passed this order the revenue moved to the high court and the high court also confirmed that the order of the cit appeal 
was bad in law at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is principal commissioner of income tax versus hyundai motor india engineering private limited and this case has been reported in 462 itr at page number 75 the matter has been decided by telangana high court and this uh, judgment came on 11th september 2023 thank you friends